Hey guys. What I have here, is a story that I haven't really talked about to you, or to either to my friends. This story is a sad one from 6th grade to 10th grade. My grade right now. Here is my life. On Saturday, 6th grade year, I was in my grandparents' room. Alright, I am going to bed. I was heading to the bed, then all of a sudden, I tripped over something. It was a carpet, it was really slippery. Oh. I think I hurt my left arm. My grandparents walked in, seeing me on the ground hurting. They asked me if I was okay. I was in pain but didn't feel like I needed to go to the hospital. I got onto the bed and they gave me an ice pack. Then I went to sleep. It was Sunday morning. I woke up feeling better. I felt fine. I ate breakfast and my parents picked me up. So. How was it? It was fine. I did fall down in my room last night on my arm, but I feel fine. What? Are you okay? Yeah, I am fine. So, I went through the day like normal. Then I went to sleep when it was bedtime. The next day, Monday, I had to go to school. I still had a little pain in my arm but it was fine. Or was it? So, when I went to PE, they were doing a practice of basketball. I told my teacher that my left arm was hurting and I was not to use it. She was fine with that and I went through the day. On that day after school, my parents and I went to the store. After the store and got home, I tried grabbing a bag with my left arm. I wasn't able to. It felt that I had pain in my wrist. My parents sent me to the hospital to get an x-ray on my left arm. It did not go so well. The doctor told me that I had fractured my radius in my ulna. It is my wrist area. My radius was a little fracture, and my ulna was a fracture also. But my ulna was cracked and moved to the right about 11 degrees. What they had to do was numb me. To do that, they had to give me a shot long enough to go into the bones, both of them. It was painful. After they were done with that, they tried to move it back in place. I did not feel a thing of them moving my bones. After that, they gave me a cast and I went through with the day. When I got home, I got on my bed. Man this really sucks. I know. We should have went on Sunday to check on that. I basically waited for about 2 to 3 days. A month later, I went back to the hospital to check on my arm again. They took off my cast and took an x-ray. This time my radius was healing really good. But to my ulna, it shifted. But too much, now it went to the left 4 degrees. The doctor told me that they might do surgery. I thought to myself, oh no, I don't want that. As the doctor was talking, now he said that it might be a bad idea for me to get surgery. Why? Because it was on my growth line. As you grow, this line helps you grow in an orderly fashion. If that is screwed up, then your arm might not grow. Anyways, my friends were happy and sad with my cast on. But, it was okay. Friends and other people signed my cast. They did hilarious drawings and signatures. I loved that time. I play a trumpet. I didn't have a hard time playing it. Band is so fun to me. But now, back to the story. After three months in, they checked on me for the last time. But, I was done. They removed my cast permanently. I was so happy that I got it off. Now I could enjoy life without a cast. Everything went really well, until 7th grade came along. But before I get into that, let's take a little break. How is everyone doing? Pretty good. Good. How is this video so far? Let me know in comments. But here we go. Okay. So 7th grade came along. What I believe it was in the month of October. I was at school doing a color run. This is an event where we run this many laps around the field. In the meantime, we would be hit with color powder. 
but nothing happened that time. It was really fun. So after school, I had to go to Taekwondo class. I did my things. During class, I was working with my master. I was doing some kicks, and as I was going for an axe kick, a straight up kick, I went to high and fell down. This time it was my right arm. I felt so much pain that day. Now here is the surprising part. It was in the same area, but, I will explain. They called my parents to pick me up and go to the hospital. I am afraid that this could be worse. I felt that I actually broke my wrist this time. I was really scared that day. So, I got there, did the x-ray, and waited. This time, it was worse. I actually broke my arm. I did not need surgery for it because it didn't like actually get dislocated. But, they have to do the same thing. Put me in the room. Surprising, it was the same doctor that gave the shot last time. Funny and hilarious. Quote unquote he said, oh no, what is it for this time? And hello, nice to see you again. But, he was a funny guy. My family was there to support me. They gave me that shot, which I hated so much. This time, you can actually hear the cracks as he puts it back in place. And they gave me a cast like the usual. My friends were surprised to see me with another cast, except on my right arm. I couldn't write and I had to make someone do it for me. Even it was hard to play my trumpet. What do you think is the worst injury so far? My left or my right? Let me know in the comments. Let's continue my story. I honestly think that my life in 7th grade was harder than 6th. After about 3 months, I got my cast off and I was free again at last. Those are the only times I actually broke something in my body. Now, let's talk about 8th grade. As the usual, this story starts off at school. So I was starting my day at school, like a normal kid would do. This story isn't that bad as the other ones. But anyways, this is the story of my scoliosis. On a school day, after school, I went to the doctors for a physical, because you need it for high school for band. She did everything for a physical. When they checked my back, she said that my back was a little off. She told me to make an appointment for an x-ray. So I did make an appointment, what I believe it was on a school day as well. I checked in, they called me in. I went in and took the x-ray. I waited a little for them to look at it. The next day, they told me that I had minor scoliosis. They told me to just watch, I didn't need a brace for my back. I was lucky, it was only about 7 degrees. Well that is basically it for that story, shorter than the others. Okay, so. This video so far has taken me for about 2 days now, started Friday to Sunday. Okay. Now, let's talk about my ninth grade year. This is going to use strong vocab. This could use words that you never heard of, or body parts that you probably would laugh at. Don't laugh and be serious for this part of the story. Let's get started. This all started in March of 2018. I went to the doctors for my physical. This time since I was 15, they check everywhere now. So. They do their normal stuff. At the end, they told my mom to step out for this part. Once you reach 15 years old, and you are a boy, they check your testicles, or testes. Some doctors say that. When she checked it, she didn't feel my left testicle. I was shocked when she told me that, I basically never knew that. After that, my mom walked in and the doctor explains this. Since I am from a different state, Washington, now in California, they never told or never remember that I possibly had only one testy. My mom did not know either that I might have had one. The doctor felt there again and she said that she felt it, but it was tiny. She told me to get an ultrasound for that area. I thought to myself, after all this time, I never knew about this. I was scared. Maybe this could have been a really bad thing. We made an appointment for an ultrasound. As the day has come, I walked in and did the ultrasound. 
They checked my abdomen, which I don't know why they did because it was not necessary. And they checked my left testicle. After they were done with that, I had to wait about a day to get the results. They called about my ultrasound and that they needed a blood test, like now. So I went in. I never gotten a blood test before. They called my number and did my blood test. My arm felt so weird and went a little numb as they did it. They took 11 tubes of blood out of me. I was so scared. My appointment came for the checkup on my ultrasound. I looked at it. Both of my parents were there when the doctor said this. My testicle was only about one centimeter. They explained that it could be cancerous. There was white spots around it. They required surgery. Surgery. I said. My parents were really scared. I was scared for the most. Luckily, she was the surgeon to do it. My parents were to wait and think about it. I didn't want it. I never wanted this to happen. Why does this have to happen? We wanted a second opinion before deciding. We made an appointment to talk about this. It didn't help. Let me explain. I went in for that appointment, got called and waited for the doctor to come in. When she walked in, she talked about this and wanted to have surgery. What she said before that. She was the doctor who told the doctor before, to tell me to have surgery. So, we had to make an appointment. Sadly we had to wait for spring break, which wasn't for another two weeks. But, that didn't happen. The surgeon had an opening on the same week, a Friday. Now I was really scared. Has any of you had surgery before? If so, where? What for? When? Let me know in the comments. I never wanted this to happen at all. The hardest part about it, is that I couldn't eat about 8 hours before surgery. My surgery was at 12 p.m. My appointment was at 10.30 a.m. When that day arrived, I was so scared. I got to the hospital, walked in, checked in, and waited. The longer I waited, the worse I got. They called me, they told me to change, I got onto the bed. The nurse gave me my IV. The good news is that it didn't really hurt and that it was the worst part. The bad news was it was getting closer to my surgery. I seen my surgeon. My anesthesiologist came in and explained everything on what they do to help me stay asleep. My surgeon marked and explained where and what they are going to do my surgery. They told me if I wanted a prosthetic testicle, I said no. They told me what I was in surgery for. I said to remove my left testicle. The time has come. Before that they put the medicine to help me sleep before surgery. I said bye to my parents and they rolled me to the operation room. The last thing I remembered is talking about that I do Taekwondo and I am a black belt in it. I do not remember counting down as they put the mask on me. My slumber felt like 2 seconds. My surgery was about 45 minutes. It took me about an hour, they said, for me to wake up. As I woke up, they told my parents that I was awake and that they could come in and see me. I was so tired after my surgery. I seen my parents. They were so happy that I made it through. I was so happy that it was done. At the end of the video, I will show me. What I looked like after surgery. I looked where they cut me open. No they don't show me what they grabbed out. There was a bandage over my stitches. The bandage looked like a football. I waited for about 3 hours before I left the hospital. They put me in a wheelchair, took my IV out of my arm, and rolled me out of the hospital. I got to the car. It was not really painful getting up, but lifting my legs to get into the car was. I called my aunt and cousins that I was done and saying that they were proud of me. These stitches that I had on were dissolvable. That was a good thing. So a month passed and I was recovering really good. I had no problem walking. I waited about a week before I went back to school. I waited for about two weeks before I could play my trumpet. After that, I did my final checkup for that area. She said that I was doing really well and that my recovery was doing good. Surgery in my opinion was stressful. Knowing that I needed it was scary. 
I never knew that I would ever get surgery this early. Right now in life, my surgery and scoliosis are doing really well. But let's talk about the last two topics that has happened in 10th grade. So, 10th grade came along. I did my yearly physical. I had the same doctor as last time. She checked everything like last time. Remember that I was about my scoliosis. Yeah, that came back. She checked my back and this time, my scoliosis is leading to a hunch. Oh no. Hunches are the worst thing that could happen to you. You might need physical therapy for that later in life. Maybe, but that's not the point. She made me do some exercises that will help with that. I would be taller because I do have a little hunch right now. I never needed a brace which was a good thing. Right now I am doing better. Good, Jmurphy30. I got lucky there but not as lucky back since 6th grade. So, about a week or two passed, I got really sick. This all started on a Wednesday morning. I woke up feeling sick. I checked my temperature and I had a little fever. I still had to go to school that day. So, I went to school feeling sick. As lunch came along, I felt horrible. I went to the health office and they took my temperature. My temperature was really high, 103.6 degrees. Wow! That was really high. You should have stayed home. I know, I should have. They made me call my parents saying that I had a high fever and not come to school the next day. I got home and went straight to bed. Two days have passed and I wasn't getting better. We made an appointment for that Friday at 9 a.m. Guess what? It was the same nurse. Surprising though. I went in and she checked me. What they did is that they took a long Q-tip and put it to the back of my nose. It felt so weird. That was checking if I had the flu. Well, I did. Influenza type A, the worst one to get. I got it, even though I got the flu shot. It had to happen. She prescribed me to my flu to help with my flu. The medicine looked like milk, smelled like bubble gum, and the worst tasting medicine that I ever taken. I took that medicine twice a day for five days. I felt so much better after taking it. My flu went away, but will it ever come back? I don't know. I don't want that to happen to you again. Let's make sure it doesn't happen again. Wow! That was such a long video, don't you think? Yeah, I don't know how long this video is. You will know once it gets uploaded. Yeah. This video took me so long to make, trying to remember everything to put into this video. What do you guys think? How many likes can this video get? Let's see for yourself once this video gets uploaded. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down. We will see you guys later. Bye guys.